All right, it is January 3rd at 10 a.m. I'm gonna call this regularly scheduled select board meeting to order. The first thing on the agenda is citizen comments. Um, not a big crowd, so I don't see any comments. Um, I don't have any deletions or additions to the agenda. Does anyone else? I don't. I don't. Okay. Uh, Tom, your manager's reporting anything today? I really don't. Okay, then. All right, let's. So first thing is from pages three to six is the uh, interlocal police contacted contacted the trustees. They signed this. Uh, they haven't back signed in December, it, but they approved it. They approved it. Okay. Yeah. So they'll sign it after we approve it. Yeah. Uh, it might have been actually sent out as a docu sign and and and. Okay. I don't. You didn't do that, Brittany. You didn't send it out. Agree. Okay. Yeah. Approve it. Yeah. So this is all the same language as. I do have questions. I'm sure, you do. Well, yeah. Please. Education. Is that for one person? Is that for all the offices? Oh. How much coverage we get? The town get forty hours a week. Forty hours of patrol, right? Plus twenty-four hour. So why are we paying for all the offices? We don't get forty hours. What are you looking at? The tuition statement? Yeah. Okay, so 100%, yeah, that would be for one officer. Just one? Yeah, that would make sense. Because right, we wouldn't be paying for all of the town pays for one officer. So shouldn't we make that clear? Yeah. That the salary wages and training wages, right, are one, or is that clear in the text that makes sorry? There could be in the. I don't think it is. Well, it isn't by past practice because it's always been for the town. The police department hired an additional officer in 2006 when they created the contract, you know, created this contract. I understand. I just think it needs to be, you know, this is going to supersede an agreement that's not in writing. So I think that it needs to be clear in writing that it's one officer. So what would you suggest for adding that in as a new paragraph? Yeah. I mean, I assume this is free, so I don't care price the price, price either. The price is calculated back. Oh, it is. Like, like these are the numbers and then the amount is just a calculation and a function of the village budget. Right? Yeah. So it would, it, to me, it would seem that everything under educate, engineer, and enforce is for one officer. One officer. So one vehicle lease. Right. Um, I'm wondering if you could just put in parentheses after that one officer, one vehicle. <laughs> After engineer and force. Yeah. yeah. That might be the easiest way. Okay. Is that something that we can do and when we send out for um, the DocuSign? Change it before we send it out. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. So the vehicle, one quick one with it. The vehicle, that's the town, correct? Yeah, that's like the insurance. Right. Yeah. Okay. What happens is it gets damaged in the village. All right. Well, still on town, like the village is, is the town. So whether you're within the village por portion is that car. Well, we pay 100%. So it for that one car. For one car. So yes. that one car should be for the town. It is. <clears throat> but you can't drive to the police station without going through the village. Right. I mean, it's going to get. 
So we're going to add one officer and one. I vehicle. think just the the words in parentheses, one officer, one vehicle, yeah. under the afterwards says educate, engineer, and force. On the appendix only, right? Yeah, where the percentages are. Yeah. 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 That makes it clear without having to rewrite. No. It. Yeah, I like that. That was. So I'd entertain a motion. I would move we. Did you have anything further, Ray? No. I would move that we approve the interlocal police contract subject to the change to the appendix. I'll second it. Thank you. Motion by Susan, second by Ray. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries four with one absent. Uh, the big item of the day. Carrie's sick. Oh, Carrie's sick. Okay. I don't uh, want the details. No, no. Well, um, so working on the budget, we have questions that um, Ray and Susan have sent, and Tom and Zoe have um, prepared some answers. Okay. So, um, this taking this list from the top down. Um, Line item 4001, um, that is simply a calculated number. Um, so I don't understand the question, is this realistic? It's calculated because it's, you have the total expenditures required minus all the revenues, and that is the amount of taxes you need, needed to be raised. So that's what this number is. Any questions? So it's not based on the grand list, it's just based on okay. strictly arithmetic. Nothing to do with the grand list. Uh, 4,006 uh, is a 12,500 uh, increased realistic. Uh, Jill, I think that's your area. This is the... Uh, Oops, yeah. yeah, your response. So the budget for uh, when the three was incorrect, so it's not the thing. Okay. Yeah, okay, you can be here and then there's a phone. Joe, could you move closer? Or could you take one of the little phone things? Yeah. Sorry, okay. I apologize, guys. I have COVID and so I'm not on camera, but you're in good hands. You want me to repeat the answer? Yes, please. Okay, so budget uh, 23 was incorrect. So it appears as if it's a 21% increase, but it isn't. Uh, it's the correct number, and there would be a, there will be a higher number in 23. Okay, moving on to uh, interest income 4071. Uh, will we have plans in place for the increase? Um, not sure what the question is because this dollar amount simply is placed in the general fund. It's a revenue, so it offsets the amount of taxes that we have to uh, but, have to raise. I understand that, but we're going from a, a, a line item in twenty three is fifteen thousand. That was for the interest rate increase. Yeah, John, is it, this is related to the interest, and right. the bank yeah. has put that into place already, haven't they? They have, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, they. So the, it's already been implemented, right? Uh, interest rates could go down, but but they could also go up. But but the bank has already, and I don't know, uh, Tom and Zoe, you used a slightly different calculation than I did, but we agreed that our calculations were close. So, you know, um, but I think you're. I think Ray, we had talked about making plans to get higher interest rates. Since then, Mascoma came back and and unilaterally changed the raise the interest rate on our account without us having to do anything in, in an attempt, I presume, to keep our business. Um, and so, uh, Tom or Zoe, am, am I saying anything that you don't agree with? No, not at all. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay, moving along to uh, ambulance uh, services income 4081. Um, this has nothing to do with COVID. 
Well, it says COVID here. That's why I had questioned it. Oh, uh, well, I think these are just remarks that uh, yeah, I know, we should we should really have deleted out. Yeah. yeah. But it's related to 2022. So it, so the. I think it was oh. So any. Okay. All right. So it has nothing to do with COVID. Well, it really was. I mean, yeah. you didn't have as many runs in fiscal year 20, it would appear, because that was a $712,000. Nobody wanted to go to the house. Right. But the increase itself is not due to COVID. It's the growth. Yep. Next item, 5002-966. Uh, yeah, this, this um, should not be in the um, um, article items. It should be um, $10,000 and uh, in 5011-313, um, is is, uh, there's a line item. Um, I think that's an, under the select board. Yes. Where it was previously 1,200, and now it's 10,000. So we made that change. So we delete this line then. Make it a zip. Uh, we'll yeah. You're make it a zip. Well, because we yeah. may bring it back to special article next year. Right. Okay. So I just increased the um, the 1,200 to 10,000. Okay. Thank you. Why would we bring the special article next year if it's if we decide to put it in the budget? Because we told them that. We told we, them that we, it was a one-time uh, thing. I, I don't. I didn't remember yeah. that. Yeah. We so asked them to come back early next year so we could discuss what the That's percentages right. okay. were. All right. All right. Fifty eleven six twelve. This is the uh, printing of the town report. Uh, that went down because um, we don't intend to print as many as we have in the past because they were always just not taken or used, and we ended up throwing them in the garbage. How many do we print? Uh, I couldn't well, tell uh, you. Does anybody know then? I, I did know. I think it was this is over 100. Oh, yeah, yeah. way over. Because yeah. I think we're going to, we're, ten, I think our, we had planned to e either print 100 or 50 this year. Basically. Yeah, this year, right. Yeah. In the past, it was much more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. several hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... Going, will, it, will it be available? I know it's a lot of paper, but would it be available electronically? Yeah, I think it always I think we have the last few years. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, it goes up on the website. Yeah. Yeah. Prior to me. I mean, I know it's there now. Yes. Um, and then there's another one. Why is EEI under select board? Um, because the select board budget is kind of a catch-all. Um, we'll take suggestions as to where anybody thinks it should be placed. Doesn't really matter where they put it. It's gonna be reflected in the bottom line. It doesn't neatly uh, divide into any one department. Hmm. I'm sorry, Jill. It doesn't divide neatly into departments. No, it doesn't. You're right. Okay, moving on along. Uh, 5029963. Um, is the payment for this under EEI loan under select board. Um, the funds for the roof are already existing under ex existing capital. So um, does that answer your question, Ray? Yeah. So they were subtracted when the EEI worked out their new numbers, uh, those funds. Do you remember they presented us a, um, a budget? It was too yeah. high. And they hadn't taken those out, so they took those funds out. All right, we have seen it. Right. So, so when we do the, that's the right. Is this the EI? Yes. Thank you. 
No, I'm confused. Which this, line? Oh, there it is. This number doesn't. Is that the same that we have in the budget? The 96,000, you mean? No, the bottom line. 6125. No, it's not the same because some of, it's gonna in, some of it is in sewer. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're right. Okay. Okay. My name that has changed over the fifty days. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? Um there was a miscommunication with the party. We thought there was an additional person with the encounter. Okay, moving along. 5061106. Please do. Okay, 5061199. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. What was the answer? I'm sorry. I, was was in, uh, I just took the current rate of pay, increased it by three percent, at and then typically he has twenty five point five um, hours of overtime, and it's just a formula. It's just okay. A, yep. The second one you have is the one five zero six one one nine nine. Why is it so high? There's two family plans. Versus any other plan, so that's just what it is. Yeah, and while we're talking about healthcare costs, uh, Susan, you had a related question, mm -hmm. and I think you were you were looking at percentages of the department, and that's not really relevant based upon what Zoe just said. It's based upon individual needs. You know, if somebody is a, a single person or if they have a family, the cost can be twice as much, if not more, from one to the other. And then there's also intermediate. Um, um, so do employees contribute when they when we insure family members? Or it's, that... Yes, because it's, still, it's a percentage, uh, but the percentage that you're paying goes up. So yes. But it is a straight 7%. Right. But the dollar amount will go up. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of that is based on contract to uh, mm -hmm. collective bargaining agreement type contract. Um, are you ready to move on to 507100? So it still says three full time employees. It's a, that, those are just no. Those are just, I, I will take out all of those. That's been paid. Okay. Yeah. We're, this, this dollar amount is two full time employees, yeah. uh, administrative assistant, and, and a full time planning zoning administrator. Right? Yeah. Again, why so high? The fifty seventy ninety nine. It, it was just two family plans. We just in case that the person that I am that was very difficult to touch. And fifty seventy three oh one professional services. No, that has not. Steve's not involved in that. Uh, those are. Other services like get his name off of it. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> so it's like the IT and then you have to bring someone in or yep. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think that the note was previously from like a carryover, a carryover note. Look at it. You're paying two rivers for money. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. It'll still be nice to get your name off of it. Yeah. So really, there is no expansion. This is what we've had in the past up until you showed up, and it's in the budget already as one, well, two full-time employees. No, is it still a 50-50 split? 60-40. Who decided that? Pardon me. Well, that's being proposed. That's being proposed, OK. Yes. And you, um, are, is there anything that you have spoken with of the, um, are you relenting to, you have, you have spoken about, um, this, this changes, and you are not going to be going to vote down for this now. For the three, so you're talking about the three people. Yes. Yeah. So I think so. So to summarize my answer, and Stephen Bauer, for the record, uh, planning and zoning department. Um, to summarize my answer, Mary, uh, you're correct. Um, I, I have received enough questions and pushback um, that this year is, is clearly not going to be the ideal year to go after more planning and growth in throughout the town through the planning department. Um, so it, it, it's been kind of made clear to me that this option is going to be the option that we do for, for this year, which is go back to what we've always been. Um, so two, two full-time two full-time people. Um, specifically some sort of administrative or executive assistant sort of position and myself. Mm -hmm. So, so my, my follow-up question is just about the other half of that of raising the fees and revenue. Still going so, after that. So still going after that so we can implement that so we can pay for in the- Yes, so, so ideally what, uh, what would happen is that this conversation is much easier coming this time next year yes. to say it's already in the budget because we have this, this is what we have made. Um, that said, it, it's certainly going to be more, more challenging to, to be as efficient as yes. I think we would like to be. Um, but we're still going to work forward. We're going to plan as much as, as we can, um, even if I feel like that's going to be less than what the town needs currently. Right. Um, and we're going to try and increase that revenue to as much as we can and see how it goes. Perfect. Great. Any other questions? I, I yes. didn't. What, do you, what else do you have? Well, um, the planning zoning department has, um, over the years, has, well, I, OK. Um, I don't know that it is not um, prudent to um, bring someone in that you um, you you're the planning planner and and zoning and one administrative assistant that's the, the planning and zoning department has been remiss in um, all the, the years. And there's for people that um, we don't, you, you, um, the expansion of permits 
we don't we don't need the I just don't feel that planning and zoning is they don't get any oh th there's there's not very much um planning and zoning um so do you support having another person well i i i have um history and from in 30 years i have all of that and at one time i had planning and zoning and all of the administrative functions yeah before they added the administrative assistant for michael brands you mean yes yeah and yeah. they had um 15 16 hours of administrative work and that's that come to the to the realization of a full-time assistant and now you're going to go Propo uh, propose adding another person in the future to separate zoning and planning as two um kind of distinct functions because zoning is approval and processing right and planning is town plan um and vision for the future and so it, the idea is just adjusting for the growth of the town but it's a discussion for next year yeah wow yeah so so mary i i i, I appreciate your support and and for asking your questions so again to to kind of briefly summarize because i know we have a lot to do um i i fully agree with with, with what you're saying and I think um, I've, I've done my best to try and make it clear the idea is to uh, not just increase the planning department's cost, but it's overall to get ahead of all these things that we're realizing might be problematic in not only our budget process, but how we understand how these things work. Um, this year is, is clearly not the year to do that, um, but next year i believe will be and i'll be back here again and i will be presenting yeah. and i will be doing that with a large revenue increase that we've never tried and so what we're looking at is a fundamental change of how woodstock works um and so i'm going to continue to fight like that and that's exactly what i told the hiring committee when i was offered this position and so that is that is what i'm here to do and i feel like i have been asked to do and that that's what i'm going to fight to do um, but adding that person to help me do it is not something that is that is favored this year. Well, so. might be um, potentially a half person. Well, for next, I think when it's done, it'll be a full time position. But because we can't really afford a full time position this year, we have to look at it next year after we've generated some revenue by increasing the fees. Joe, if I can. And then Susan has something yeah, to add. I think my point is that this is a pretty it's a change and and I think I can't remember what word you used but it's it's something new and I, we my feeling is we have a new town manager coming in and this is really his role to work with Steve and come to us with a recommendation and I feel we're stepping on the toes of our new town manager if we approve that a month before he takes office so that's why I'm yeah. voting against it this year not because I'm against it philosophically or think it's good for the town I just think you tie the hands of a new town manager when we make that this kind of decision um, without him. So that's why I have been against it this year. I agree. Okay. I do. Sorry, I have to say just well, the second that. person is going to have what kind of experience are you looking for for a second? Um, I'm looking for, depending on education, two to five years. Um, of administrative or some sort of executive, you know, similar position, um, and obviously that that depends a little bit if they have land use background or education. But so, so we're still working on on what that 
what that application okay would be but right. just yeah all right okay you. any other questions for me uh, i don't okay all right thank, thank you Are we ready to move on to uh, your next question related to 5084810? I missed that number, sorry. Uh, 5084810. That is the amount that the town contributes annually. Right. And I had suggested, I didn't realize that we hadn't raised the. Um, rental rates for the chamber back to what they should have been. That was supposed to be a one year deal. Um, but in either case, it, it, we, did increase we did, right. But that's the normal rate that they would be paying. But with the increase in fuel, electricity, you know, I, I think we need to get some of that back somehow, whether we we, so do we, you want to decrease what we give them? Well, that's what I'm that's what I'm suggesting. So you're saying we should decrease this line item 5084810. While we leave it as it is and raise their <coughs> rent next year. Well, we did raise their rent from no, no. Well, it went up to the previous amount of right. six thousand. Right. Yeah. It's sustainable. Is that sustainable? It should be. So you're talking about bringing the thirty-five thousand down to like what thirty-two five for? Yes, yeah, something. Yeah. I mean, it, it just. But I don't know how we can get that into. The only heartache I have is if we didn't invite the chamber here to talk about it. No, no, I know, I know. That's the that's the that's the problem. Um. So I have no problem. Uh, this year. But yeah. I think next year we need to increase. Just invite them in for that, just part of the discussion. Yeah. Okay. I just put that in so it's yeah, so a good process. I got you. Total appropriations um, increase from the 12 15 budget to this. Yeah, we, I don't. I don't, I don't think we went over the, the exact increases um, since you since you asked this question, but um, it'd be a good time to do the summary that John. Yeah, you, yeah, would be. Go ahead. That one, that was the one. Yes. Oh. So if you go to the second page, that's mm -hmm. the right one. Yes. Uh, so the calculations that were done here are to separate out the budget appropriations from the special articles. And to get to the this number here, John took out the money that goes to the EDC because that's not really part of the budget that you right. do. And he took out the special articles. And then he um, he took out the audit expense and the community TV from the special articles like you've discussed today, and then added both to regular appropriations. So that you can see just on one page what the changes are from 23 to 24. The budget, special articles, and the non tax revenues to get down to that real estate taxes required. So that comes to something like 6.3%. Mm -hmm. And then the reminder that because um, the grand list has increased, the increase that will actually each property owner will actually experience is about one and a half to two percent lower than that. 
So if we're at 6.3 now and use some of the deficit, or I mean, sorry, not, not the deficit, the um, surplus. The opposite. <laughs> use the surplus, sorry about that, to bring us down to like a even to say 5.2 or 5.3 with the expansion of the grand list really at 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, somewhere in there um, as an overall increase to the user. It'll be so if we I'm talking about two different steps there so yes. it might be one at a time then so the so, first step being if we reduce the overall 6.3 regardless of what that does just the 6.3 to the budget mm -hmm. down to call it 5.3 just by using the surplus mm -hmm. then you subtract the fact that the grand list has expanded yes. so the increase to the individual property owner tax rate is really 4.3 or 4.2 or something. Right, right. And I think that's a pretty reasonable number considering what the economy has been doing with, it, with it, uh, inflation. So I'd argue, um, and I'm, I'm speaking for me, not the finance committee, that that's too much to use of that lovely surplus that can okay. be put toward big projects given how many we've got coming down the line. And I think that in a year of inflation, um, to get a to do something like five point nine percent here would be really really um, enough. So bring the six point three down to five point nine. And did we hear from the auditors? Yes. Yeah, they said that the um, um, surplus will be that, and possibly even a little more. So we're we're comfortable with what. Seven hundred and fifty-eight thousand, I think it was. So it, it right is a bottom line question. If the voters vote down the budget, right? Are we going to cut the budget and use some of those funds? I think we'd have to use more of the funds. Yes, I don't think there's anything to cut without doing right. the work. Right, but so then why not come in at a reasonable number that we think will pass? instead of going through the process a second time? Because I think 5.9% is a reasonable number. I, I don't know about you, but we've we've had huge um, healthcare increases. We've got wage increases and still come out with 5.9%. With I still would love to see the audit before we start committing money. What would be, Jill, do you have an estimate for out of the surplus, what we have to use to get 6.3 down? Yes, Tom did those numbers, right? Four or five. Yeah. That page. Um, yeah, I think that's all part of the board packet that was sent out. There's a, a spreadsheet. It's entitled uh, Tax Increases of yep. Various Amount, Various Amounts of gotcha. Unsigned Unbalanced Usage. In the packet. You guys didn't look at your packet? Come on. It's right here. It's, I don't think I got it. Uh, oh, maybe not. You did. There. I didn't see it. I miss an email every now and then, I guess. It's about twenty, about twenty-one or twenty, it's about twenty thousand dollars ish to get it down to five point nine percent. And Tom, I think these numbers might change very slightly when you take the two thousand dollar increase on WCTV, all that. Right. But but it's that the basic. It's basically about twenty thousand, Joe. Twenty two thousand, something like that, to get it down to five point nine. That's pretty low. Can I also say, um, with the decrease of um, the uh, one five zero three zero. Right. Uh, that's going to be twenty thousand. Right there, am I right? Um. So we were at four eighty one, and we're going to actually decrease that to four fifty four. So just mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Yep. A lot of numbers again. Maybe we should. I think. What I personally would prefer to do is vote on the budget and then and then 
do the numbers? I mean, we they have to give us the audit soon, right? <laughs> Not in time. Nope, they're saying the end of January, so we will not yeah. see it in time. But should. it's irrelevant. We don't we don't need the budget the, the audit to pass a budget. No, I'm saying pass we pass we can pass the budget if you listened. And but then not but, decide what money we allocate it to it until we have the audit. But I was hoping we'd have the we audit. We have to put the money into the capital reserve though, right? For the budget? No, you just have to make a motion that you want to use a given amount of unassigned fund balance for the fiscal year 24 budget. And that's it. But we have to know that before we pass the budget? No. Or not? I don't think so. Um, Seems like you would. Yeah, yeah you do, yeah. because you're going to have a dollar amount on the warning that is going to reflect how much you're going to reduce the budget by. I guess what I'm thinking is, I mean, I, it, it would be helpful to know when some dates, like when do we have to have the town report submitted? Uh, two weeks from today. Okay. And we don't think we'll have the audit before then. Nope. But we're safely in the $700,000 range in the highest can we get them to put that in writing to us? I don't think they'll do that. We, we, we've actually had this come to us by way of, uh, um, I, I'm drawing a blank, Sarah Macy <laughs> really put this together for us previously and yeah, yeah. reviewed it at a meeting. Yeah. So, I mean, the, any number on these pages safely within that range of seven hundred thousand dollars. I'm kind of looking at the thirty-five or fifty, um, the second and third line as hitting fifty thousand hits five point three. But that's the increase, not it, not taking into consideration the, the grand list increase. Correct. So. So it'd really be lower yes, to the it, taxpayer. It, it does up. Uh, it. You're right. Right. So 5.3 would yep. be if your house had been newly assessed. If your house had not been newly assessed, it would be 3.8 to 3.3, which is really low. I, I, I mean, I, yeah. I, yeah, I personally think 50 is more than we need to do. I think, I, I think it's more than we need to do, but I think it's a comfortable number that doesn't draw down from the surplus very much. I mean, 50 is a lot, but. I think we but, it, I, I, but it brings in a passable amount that I think I think the psychological effect of 5.3 and 5.9 is not you don't think it's that much I think 5.3 feels like five and 5.9 feels like six. yes yeah. yes so I, I'm more to point six feels like 5.5 plus, yeah. <laughs> plus we have to get the budget with the changes made before we know what the actual dollar amount is anyway is there just that one change there's flagged a change and then we have the there's one one more change that I was we should have brought up in the questions is the uh, elementary school parking lot. We told them that we'd talk about it in our budget. I didn't agree to committing any specific numbers, but they were asking for five thousand. I still think that should be split for the village, and I think that they need to also go to the other towns. You can't be split with the village because it's it's highway. And highway is paid all by the pay, paying the elementary well, school we, paying money to the elementary school or to the school board for them to it's a new item it's a, it'd be a new item it can be split either way because it's just every time we put something in the village budget it means that the people that live in the village pay yep. to us because we're all paying our town taxes but why would we pay them when we're already paying the school tax it's other so i in a philosophical point, I agree with you. In a practical point, we just have to make it so that the school board oh, but allows our, access to parking. It's our I'm, I'm sorry, this is, a, is it our share of, because we use it? It's our share because people park and tour, residents and tourists park there, especially during the high travel season times. Can I, can I say something then? That, so the village budget, maybe the village pay for the whole thing in the village budget. Because it's a uh, because it's all to do with parking. Right, it's all to do with parking. It's yeah, and it's all. Village. It's not like people park there to go up to 
So I mean, it's house on College Hill or right. South Woodstock. So it's a village. I mean, I mean, town, I mean personally, I'd rather not pay any money, but just as a practical sense I'm of getting it done, I was willing to throw a thousand or two thousand at it. And, do they, and I, uh, what I would like to do is go back to the school board also and tell them that they need to ask other towns because it's that send students to Woodstock. It's, it's they're trying to cover the, they're trying to cover their maintenance costs. And is and they, five thousand a contribution? It's a contribution. Yeah, I don't. You were. I was there. Ray was there. No, no he wasn't. You weren't there. I would have said no right then. Yeah. <laughs> Why right. See, and then, yeah. Um, I mean, I can't see other towns being, I mean, in the same no, philosophy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The same yeah. philosophy where we're saying the town doesn't really benefit. Right. I don't think Pomfret is okay. going to feel yeah. like they benefit from right. that parking lot other than they might park there once in a while. So, I, I mean, I, I think the town has a I will say very the in, minimal benefit. The so, maybe 1,000, 4,000. Employees use it. Yeah. On weekends, especially during foliage. I've parked there. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I mean we can do it all ask the village to do it all or throw a thousand at it and ask the village yeah. to do the other four thousand. I feel comfortable with that. Splitting it splitting it paying you know, give yeah. paying a thousand and asking the village to do it. Oh, stop. Once they have the books in us. Well, they've asked us for like for this they've asked well, I don't think they're going to ask for. No, but once they have the hooks in us that they know we're going to pay, what's mm -hmm. to stop them from coming back next year and saying $5,000 is not We need $10,000. No. <laughs> uh, we start paying them for use at town hall. Yeah, well, that was the, that's what we brought up with <laughs> that, yeah. that your recommendation is. When my kids were in school, the school used to pay the town or Pentangle mm -hmm. for use of town hall. And then we had the same argument we've been discussing here that. You know, this is all taxpayer money. This is rather silly yeah. to be doing it that way. And so then the town agreed that the school could use town hall for production yeah. without charge. Uh -huh. So, you know, I think if they, yeah, it, I, I don't want to get into that kind of. Yeah, I don't either. I don't want to get into well, school, the school uses bail field, and so we're going right. to yeah. charge the rec to charge them. And uh -huh. yeah. But, you know, if it, I know it's been really hard on people when they closed that parking lot. Yes. Yeah. So 5,000, as long as they know that that's 5,000. 5,000. Yeah. That's, that's real money. <laughs> I know. Um, so are they going to allow overnight parking? No. No. Why? Uh, on Fridays and Saturday nights, I would. It's just midweek because that if yeah. someone's still there at seven in the morning and the teachers oh. show up. Oh. But for, it, if you so allow it over it, parking on Friday and Saturday night, yeah. there's not going to be any teachers. So right. towing's not really Saturday, realistic. Sunday. We sometimes can't get tow companies to come out and tow cars that are blocking the plow trucks. It's just they're not there right now. I would think you allow overnight. We ask yeah. for overnight parking on Friday and Saturday nights. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I walked away. So are we looking at putting that? It was just, I think there'd be a, a split. split line, probably just under the site board contingency of like a, a thousand. Split. It'll, our split would be, our contribution would be $1,000 for FY24. That's the numbers we're talking about. One in the village does four for a total oh. of five. Wow. Whoa. I don't know. Because I, I, it's, I, I think the village would yeah. balk. <laughs> oh, they get the most use out of it. Right. They get the most use out of it. The town gets some because sure every now and then a town resident okay. yeah. parks there. Um, so we'll just call that um, WES parking okay. or WES parking lot or something. And we're looking at. I just had the site for contingency in front of me, and now I don't. So go back to it. And when we communicate it to the school, we could ask for overnights Friday and Saturday. Yeah, we'll just say that you know, in the discussion, we think it's fair to be able to park there Friday and Saturday nights. Yeah. When it's not snowing. 
Okay, did we answer all your questions? Or are there new questions no. coming? And I think so, we got. Well, we have to decide what we're going to do with the pen and zone 60 body split. And then just want to let you know that your last question was, it really wasn't a question, it was more of a statement. Appropriations increase, and you have to have a dollar figure. So we'll reduce by almost 30,000 the highway. However, 77,000 of that was that DEI. And where's that now? In the solicitor. Okay. On your solicitor. Um, I think that covers Susan's questions. Yeah, my only question was with the annual report, we don't, or my only unanswered question, I guess, is we don't spell out the special, well, we would. We do spell out the special articles. So those are in the budget, though, because they haven't been the voted budget. on. Yeah. No, no, I get that. Right in the Australia in the yes. um, right, and but in the budget it doesn't have that. Right, they right. haven't been approved. I, I this would just this for prior years because they are approved. Right, it. and then just as John has here, that's actually been in the budget where you see what the increase would be without the special articles, and then you see what the increase is with the special articles. But as you all know, the special articles traditionally have passed. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so which leaves, what do we want to do from the surplus? In the end, uh, oh, and that's well, the 60 40 split first. Yeah, I don't know why we should change. I think that the research was that 60% of the zoning office time is spent on the town and 40 is on the village. So, so split the revenue and the uh, Expenses, right. That would make sense. That'd be fair. Just want to say, you guys no, I appreciate you bringing that up because I was only thinking about the expense, but the revenue, yes. it goes both ways. Yes. Well, forget the revenue. Not that it's a ton of money. Yeah. It'll offset it a little. And this is calculated at 60 40, so we don't need to change these numbers then? Right. But just keep in mind it's hard to look back because it's always been a 50 50 uh -huh. so you're not comparing right right so i mean i so my my feeling and my recommendation is is fifty thousand from the surplus but i'll i'll go with the group thing kind of I, I don't i'm not hard set on it i'm yeah, a little more comfortable with 35. Gone. Oh, sorry. Uh, just before you finalize this this last point, can I just ask Tom a procedural question again about where about timing? Tom, does the does the select board motion does the decision to take fifty thousand or thirty five thousand or whatever the number is from the unallocated surplus or whatever it's called to move that into the general fund? If that's what is done, does that require a vote of town meeting or simply a motion of the select board? A motion of the select board. So actually, Joe, this decision it could yeah. actually would actually be best made in June of 2023 when we know what the increase when we know what the increase of I don't, I don't no, think we can do that because no, no. we need no because the appropriations doesn't change. The appropriations doesn't change, but if they're going to calculate the tax bills and the um percent increase we need to put that into the I, in other words, right. well you don't well you, i think it's really what the voters are, aren't going to vote on a tax increase they're going to vote on a dollar appreciated the, 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 the appropriations are going to go up by 8.6 percent or whatever that, roughly speaking whatever minus the changes here that that number won't change no matter how much we put in from the surplus but the taxes that are required to be raised is is um, is what will change the growth to most of the taxpayers to the, mm -hmm. to the taxpayers who haven't had their house reassessed, and, and that is affected by both the amount of money you put in from the surplus and the growth of the grand list. My only point is that technically, I I understand you would like to make a de a decision to 
to, to talk at town meeting about how much taxes will actually go up. But what's voted on at town meeting, and Tom, please correct me, but this is my understanding. What's voted on in town meeting is not taxes. It's appropriations. It is, but I've never seen it done what you're suggesting. Um, and it's going to really complicate and confuse a lot of people as to what's happening here. And the reality is we're talking, what the board's talking about is an additional $30,000 taken from the unassigned um, unbalance. Um, it, it's not worth complicating things at town meeting for that kind of money. And potentially not getting a budget to pass. That's my opinion. That's right. I think people want to know what the tax rate's going to be. I bet you they do. Yes. I, I also think we're confident enough and we have all the information that we're going to have. Yep. So that's fine. I, I just wanted to understand what that, you know, I think those are good arguments, Tom. Um, just, just to be clear also, Susan, when people say that they're going to want to know what the tax rate is, there's nothing that you can do to tell them the tax rate right now because you don't know the grand list. You can't know sure. the grand list. So I just want to just want don't want people to say we are we are voting on this tax rate as a select board because you're not. I, I just it's just to save you from the trouble of having to go back on that statement. Right. Tax right. rate then the tax rate, whatever we do today, is set in at the end of June. Yeah. yeah. So, but I agree with Tom, your arguments, I think, are good. Are That's a good point. That's good. So, so I had proposed 50, Susan, you had proposed 35. Yeah. And Mary, would, do you have an opinion between those or another? Um, I have 50. 50? 50. And yeah. Ray, what's your? I would prefer the 50. You would prefer the 50? Susan, are you? I, I mean, it's a different. No, thousand, I'm not going to. Thousand, so. Good. So I would, um, <laughs> I would pr propose, or I would entertain a motion to put fifty thousand from the twenty twenty two surplus, right, into the unassigned. No, it'd be uh, as unassigned funds from twenty two. From twenty two. Toward twenty four. Towards twenty four. As unassigned funds, twenty-three is current, so we don't. So it's FY twenty-two. And would it go into capital reserve, or where would we put it? Or it would go into capital reserve, but I don't think we'd have to. It'd be a special so transfer. I don't think it goes. Okay, so as a special transfer to the general fund. Right. Okay. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. So, motion by Ray, second by Mary, to take fifty thousand dollars from the FY twenty two surplus and put it as an unassigned fund or un transfer of unassigned funds to the general fund. Is there any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries four to zero with one absent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're wrapping up this announcement. I just want to make sure that I'm very clear on what changes need to be made. Um, and this one has been made. So the $10,000 we're changing from 1200 to 10000 for the community television. We're taking it out of the special art. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, we are putting in the figure of 454 for 18 um, for the non 503 rate. Ray has um, pointed out. Um, we are splitting the W in that line to our town budget, and we are putting the notice the town portion to one thousand dollars, right? Yep. Okay. We are um, doing a 60-40 split of both uh, appropriations and revenue for the planning and zoning. Yep. And then about the thousand dollars. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. So. Doing any oh, the, yeah, David has something he passed out. We also have the sewer. But there was no questions on the sewer, so that's oh, yeah, kind of put. Well, let's, let's finish. I didn't see him on your list. They say we wrap up town. Okay, this is his last comment. Too many to. Okay. Oh. Then do, and then do store.
So okay. what, what David's proposing is not a dollar change. It's just the reallocation of the that the select board has to make. Thank you. Many papers. So uh, last year I bought some hair packs and I received a price to uh, replace them this coming year if it was feasible. And I just want you to know, first of all, they're 1991 hair packs that are family. These are what people breathe in fires. Um, the cost since last year has gone up $20,000 and there's another increase coming this spring of $15,000. So I'm looking to purchase them this year, and I've broken down how I propose to do that. The only change to the budget, the current budget, would be to um, the 2023 ambulance. I put aside money to buy this coming summer, put that towards air packs and not buy an ambulance. David, I'm so sorry. Is this the money that's in capital reserve? Yes, this is in capital. Okay. So you're not going to see it on your budget sheet, right? Well, it's in there now as ambulance. Ambulance, ambulance or ambulance? 2023 ambulance. Eleven thousand of fifty thousand. Five. Oh crap! I look. I must be looking at a different line because it says eleven. Then there's already so money from us. Oh, in the capital? Yes. 5039953. So this is a reach capital reserve fund. Oh, I see. Yes. Yep. Amos 2350,000. Okay. So I'd like to change that to air packs. May I ask a question? Yes. Why Why do you think, what, are you confident that we don't need the ambulance? I am not, but we have had many fires this fall and I'm putting people in harm's way every time they use those air packs. So these are 1991, nobody even has a car that old. <laughs> and this is what people breathe right. to live. So I, I want to make a thesis of support here, yes. which is we shouldn't take out of capital reserve money that is put in for important items like ambulances because we just need another 50,000 next year. And that's what the surplus should be used for. Well, I'm not done. I'm also asking <laughs> to reallocate in our bank. Right now, we have $94,000 in the bank towards that ambulance purchase as well. I'm asking to take 22,000 of that and put it towards the air packs. Reducing your, no. your savings account. Yes. So your savings account would be at 72. Yes. Is the, what's your savings account? Is that capital reserve? Capital reserve for an ambulance, which has $94,000 in it. And you guys don't have that piece of paper in front of you. So you're suggesting you taking 70, yeah. 72000 out of capital reserve for the ambulance? Yes. I think that's a terrible thing to do. Fix as a combined from the 50 plus the 22. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that means that when we need an ambulance, we're going to be $72,000 short, at least, and we'll just put it on a loan and pay for it in future. What's the status of the, there was um, talk that there might be a surplus from the bond for there the MS building? Yes, what's but we're still, not, we're still not done with the building, so I don't know yet, but I'm projecting <laughs> roughly $100,000. Uh, South Woodstock's in the same position with their air packs? Yes. They're looking for grants and... Yep. All sorts of things for. Yep, I have applied for grants for five years to replace these, and unfortunately, the town budget is too high, <laughs> and their taxes. So more than likely, we'll never get that money. Uh, so are you proposing that some of the twenty-two surplus is used to pay? David, what was the total amount for the new order? So to replace the air packs today is one hundred and forty thousand dollars. Joe, I, we are also going I to have be in February about the ARPA money, yes. and we had talked about you know putting South Woodstock, yes, you know, and help possibly helping pay for a portion of their air packs with ARPA money, and I'm just wondering if this would be a better thing too, rather than taking it out of capital reserve. So my next question for you, David, 
When do you have to order them by to get the lower price? I would place the order today and tell them I would not take delivery or invoice till July 1st. Okay. And that locks you in at the? That locks us in at this price. So right now in the bank, I have $67,995.99.50 in the bank as of July 1st next year for this purchase. July 1st of 24? Of 23. So you see it's the combination of these two lines. Yes. So 67,000. That's what I will have in the bank as of July 1st. Right. Oh, to take the 50 from the capital and then the balance. You have 22 out of out of the 94 out of ambulance funds. Yes. So can I ask a procedural question? Is David allowed to put in an order? which could be satisfied with capital reserves, but you can revert, reverse that decision in the February discussion. So David needs to put an order in now, which is more than he has funds for. Yes. I'm imagining that isn't ethical. No, they allow that. Oh, uh, can, yeah. we, can we allow yeah. that? Oh. So, yeah. So I'm not taking delivery or purchase of right. anything until July. So he puts an order in now for more than he's got in the bank. And then maybe it's left undecided where that excess comes from. So I think, uh, yeah, you can't buy something that you don't have the money somewhat allocated for. I think you could put a contingency in the motion of. One way or another. Of. Uh, we'll fund it. Of it will be funded in a combination of existing capital reserve and surplus. I would put I would put or ARPA. ARPA or ARPA. I would just put or uh, surplus and other funds or available. other funds, other available funds, other available funds. So it yeah, doesn't, they, doesn't limit us. Yes, to, I like that. The only thing I wanted to catch was putting in the fifty thousand for an ambulance. Whether you want to change that in this budget no. to air. I don't think so. Right I don't, now. So, no. Okay. That's, yeah. Have you been talking with Chip as well? No. I mean, it sounds like maybe you need to, you could coordinate this. Um, yeah, the departments serve the town and they're both. They have no AirPack certified people, so I'm not sure why they need AirPacks, but. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy people, to I mean, they're mutual aid. They're sending people into buildings, right? No, they only really run a tanker. Okay. They only have three guys. So. But I'm happy to talk with them. Combine an order. So then, if I have it right, we would entertain a motion to fund up to $140,000 as a combination of capital reserve or other funds as they become available. Other available funds, not as they or, or, or or other available funds. Yeah. Right. They might not. We could change. Well, well ARPA becomes available. It's available. So yeah. yeah. Okay. But we could say, well. As you make new decisions? As you make decisions. Or I, I think just as, as, or as with, with available funds. Yeah. I think that's. Sure, that works. That works. Is there a motion for that? I'll make the motion. Okay. Motion. Second. Second. Motion by Ray, second by Susan to. Uh, allocate or authorize the spending of up to $140,000 for air packs split between capital reserve and other available funds as decided. Perfect. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. Yep. And that doesn't require any changes to the budget, so we're, no, so we're happy. No. <laughs> no. But, but, but. Um, I got no other, that, that's everything for the budget this year. Right? Yeah. Nothing else? Except, but, yeah. So, oh, so, so yeah, we have to do. Yeah. We need to talk about that.
in page 26. Mm -hmm. I think there was a question on uh, yeah, like that forty seven answered earlier when we talked about the, the uh interest budget. Yeah. 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 Oh. So many questions here. Well, we need to finish it up. So start, start asking your questions and we'll give you answers. Next time we've seen the sewer budget. We updated. Yeah. Um, no, I meant, you know, we haven't reviewed it in prior meetings. I, I was talking about. No. So the wages um, they're down from what they were originally, but did you ever talk to Elijah on why it was such a large increase? I did all the calculations. It had nothing to do with Elijah. I actually took everybody's pay and looked at the Okay, so but originally the first one that we the first sewer budget we got had a flavor of uh, two hundred ninety four thousand. I don't believe it was split eighty I'm not sure. Which number line are you looking at? Um well on this one it's five zero two two hundred. And I had sent that I had questioned that you said you were going to speak to Elijah why it was raised that high. Just wondering if it did. No, he, he, he did because when I did the calculations, it, I don't want to say it doesn't matter what it had been before, but I actually did all of the sewer out based on their union contract over time. True number. True number. You'll see that the EEI bonds came in. No, no, I'm not. Let's go to uh, 5022 199. Sure. What's the journaling? Uh, uh, again. What? Actually, do have a response. Problem in from Fiverr, but I'm not sure. But that this is again, we I looked into this, and this is the accurate cost for FY24. So the journal entry that this for FY22, this is an actual cost for the report. I mean, it, at this point, it doesn't matter what the journal entry was for 24. I mean, yes, yeah, that's curiosity, but the the exact cost will be 126. So you have answers to the other questions. Um, the line flusher. Okay. 5023 414. Okay. We don't have that as of yet. But that is the payment for a new one. So when are we going to take delivery? Well, we're not going to take delivery and, and, and next year, why do we? I mean, I guess, and I don't have all specific to spend orders. We are, it, it's, it took a while, like even for Elijah to try to build this. We are anticipating that we will get it. I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't work for the truck company. I don't, 
No, 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 no. You're confused. We're 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 talking about five zero two three four one four, right? Right. That's you. You're it's not been built yet. Find out when. No, 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 no. That was on order. You're talking about the sludge truck, Zoe. That's that's not. So this is on order. Yes. Okay. Yep. And when are we supposed to take delivery? Uh, any time. Okay, so we will have payment. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So when the school goes. And there's only one more page. That's very okay, where is the when the last year when we built um when we had the sewer charges, they were putting in money for the bond. Mm -hmm. Where is where are those funds in here? It's Charger, charger, I don't understand. On for what? Southwood spot, yeah. There was a bond repayment on last year. There was a bond repayment for the sewer expense last year. Just wondering what where the funds. 502282. Yes. So there's 93.5 and 28. Mm-hmm. Page 29. 502-2819. And eight two zero. But that's that's what they charge. Where where are the funds that were collected? Were collected. Do you mean when they took the money out of the bank? No, no. 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 Last year's tax sewer bill reflect had a bond repayment number on it. Right. So you taxed people last year for bond repayment. Right. So is that the 93? Right. So it all be in with. It's one reason why having a fund balance sheet would be helpful. <clears throat> so the only only thing I can say is, is that they would be in with the consumption case. That's yeah, but they are Can ask a question again. Right. Yeah, I don't think you're. Yeah. I don't understand the question either. The question is: Last year, when we did this, when we approved the sewer rates, yep. there was money in there. Part of the sewer rates was, I think, it was two percent or something. It was a, a a percentage that was meant to pay for the bond or the over or the additional cost for the Southwood stock. So a treatment plan. My question is, where are those funds on this page? It's not. I. They're not broken out. Do Do you mean where are the funds collected, or where are the where what were the funds spent on? We're, both. Both. Okay, so they was weren't they were they not spent on the South Woodstock bond repayment? I don't know. Had it's, had it's, yeah, that's where the expenditure is, and then there's got to be an equal offsetting. Revenue, right? But the, the, for the, the bond revenue? coming in, there's, there's no. There is no separation. Which there doesn't need to be. That the, the sewer consumption fees, the, the, the right. revenues, the total revenue oh, right. of right. a million one fifty four nineteen cover the total expenses, which include the ninety five thousand. Right. But there should be, so we know what we're actually paying for. Consumption, consu consumption fees and what we're paying towards the bond. So they say that, you know, the consumption fees are X and then they keep going up. Right. So you would when, have a person pay a $500, just as an example, $500 bill, and then you would take 2% of that and separate it up. So Corey would take 500 less 22% and would have to go in a separate line item, not you? No. 
on on last year's tax bill, right. there was an entry okay. for bond repayment. And it has a specific number. And I'm not seeing this because I don't have a right. Sewer. Well, and I just think it's if I I don't have a sewer bill either, but if I were paying that sewer bill, I would want to know because we didn't have any bond payments last year. So where did the money go? If the money was at if there was people were taxed to repay a bond that has not become due, okay. I'm just wondering where that money is. So there was no, there wasn't a bond charge in no. this year. Not until the Got project completed. So where are those funds? I mean, they're still collected. They're yeah, but, yeah but, but where but are they? Where are they? How much is collected? It wasn't made that anything had to be calculated. So I'm assuming it is sitting in the sewer consumption fees. So you, you have been a little. So why don't we, why don't we not charge that tax this year and use last year's money? Because we don't know how much it is. We still don't even know. As you said, it was two percent. You don't know where. Well, I'm you, you don't know where. You don't know where it's setting today. It's going to be in the fund balance. You have a separate account yeah. for this, right? So it's yeah. going to be setting in that. You can't charge us for. We, if if you approve this, then the sewer taxpayers are going to have two years worth of uh, bond charges. And they're always, um, but there's only going to be a need for one year. Well, then so could they're, reduce they're not going to pay on, on, the, um, right, on, the, on the other end. Okay. In other words, if it's a 20 year bond in 18 years, they won't be paying them. Yeah, but yeah, why would we pay? Why would why pay early? I, 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 I don't think you have an option last when you when you bond for something. You have a you have an amortization that is uh, that has a date. With if you take a look at the actual bond that the town signed off and agreed to, there is a schedule of payments, and you can't deviate. From well, I don't think we're. I don't think anyone's questioning the payments. The question is that we taxed people before the payment was due. And so we and have I'm one sure year. that's what the bond said so, you so, had to do. Oh, so is oh. the idea that as Ray raised this last year. So is the idea that because additional funds have been raised before the payments became due? No, at the time we were told there was an over overrun. Can I, can I, can I, let me okay. Let me finish. Is the idea that because there's a balance pre-existing to pay for the bond fund from revenue that was raised before the bond fund was like the first payment was due that we reduce and spread out that and so you raise less in future years so i wonder how much money was collected last year uh, yeah all. we just want to know the physical where the you know, that the money is okay and so not being counted as so it's not a much of how to use it as, as to where it is where it is okay yeah Okay. Oh, so that's not a budget question. We can answer. Well, it is that. when we're talking about uh, having a seven hundred thousand dollar surplus, which may include money that isn't town money. True. Right. If well, that were... that surplus has nothing to do with the sewer. That's strictly well, we town don't, money. We don't know that. Don't know I knew it, and I'm telling you now that that's the case because that's the audit. Well, I'm not ready. To, funds, I'm not, not ready sewer. to work this until I see how many where the funds are and how much is there. I agree. It should be, should it not be a some sort of line in the capital reserve? Right. Should or some somebody. kind of fund balance, which thing. Well, then we'll, we'll we'll just have to adjourn the meeting and come back later and we'll get that information for you. I think we. I'm comfortable moving on the town budget and not the sewer budget. That I think you've more. already done that. What's, what work does, Wait, yeah, sorry. I mean, more or less. What work does- I thought we just approved the 50. <laughs> so aside from, this bit of where the money is, there are not adjustments to make to the sewer budget, are there? I don't know. Well, what would you mean well, for adjustment? Well, do we collect enough money to pay the point? Do I mean, we don't have that answer. Okay. And if we don't have the answer, and we approve this budget, we don't have enough money to cover the bond, but we have too much money to cover the bond. There was also a shortfall. I mean, the bond. Did, right. Because we voted on the bond and then the numbers came in higher, there was a shortfall between the bond. And the <laughs> Sounds like some analysis should be done before the next meeting. Yes. Okay. 
So do we need to have a special meeting next week then? Tuesday morning? Tuesday afternoon? What are you? Tuesday the 10th. I can do either. I can do either. I, can you do Tuesday morning or? I, I, I have physical therapy on Tuesday and I don't know if it's um, morning or afternoon, but I will. I can do. I think it's 2.30. 2.30, so why don't we do a morning one? Okay. What time? Oh, 10 a.m. Sure. What are we doing? So I'm uh, having a, a special meeting to go finalize the sewer budget next Tuesday at 10 a.m. And that'll be the only thing on the agenda? Yes. I'll, if, I, if I don't, I, I have to, I will so, uh, cancel the meeting of the, the physical therapy. I, And I, I'm uh, not clear. You want to know where the bond? No, I want to know how much it is and where. Let me ask the question, please. You want to know how much it is and where it is? Oh no, how much it is? How much are the consumption fees went to? The payment of the either the overage or the bond. How much? How much was collected last year? And how much was spent? How much was spent? And if the answer none was spent, then where is that money going? Now, when you say spent, so, you're right. talking about the bond payment Here, let's, itself. Let's not, not, it. not. You're not talking about operations. No, 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 no. I'm talking, talking about strictly the bond. Strictly. The funds that were collected on top of the regular consumption fee. And I don't know if I have that paperwork at home, but I think I can find it online or someplace. Okay, yeah. Um, it doesn't, it just, where, is the, where are those funds sitting? Or do we spend them on maintenance? Or do we spend, yeah. well, well, yeah, but we, I don't know that. And, and and you don't know that because it's not. And then the tip of the thought: if the money wasn't spent on the bond payment, but it was collected, then should there be a line in FY24 of capital reserve bond payment? Correct. So that it's protected. Yep. And capital reserves? No. Well, where you, else? You would we just you would just have it as a as any other expense. It would just so be a payment, and you have it in there. What do you? What, what, yeah, you in FY23, money was collected for a bond payment. Yeah. It wasn't made. Oh, wait so a minute. You don't, we don't know that. There's bond. My understanding is no bond payment until construction's complete. That's what we were told last year. So I don't believe that there have been any bond payments, but we collected for one. Well, again, if you, we have to take a look at the bond. Um, there, there's a schedule we adhere to, and it generally doesn't start that early. There's usually, like you were saying, yeah. So, so there's just lots of questions, and these, you know, the answers. How much money was collected? How much money will be spent in FY23? And how much money then is forecast to be remaining in FY24 of bond payment money? It's, and we're only talking about bond payment, though, right? Right. Which well, Ray is just saying bond payment money is special and should be accounted for separately. And yeah. it, it's not just the bond, but it was also the who how do we pay for the overage? Overage? Oh, yeah, the, the, the bond was like five. And the estimate came in much higher. Three point two, I think. Oh, there's an, there's another uh, grant. There's a nine hundred and some thousand dollar. So there's a lot of money in the state what's going on. Right. And, and it's going to be important in February because certain people are going to argue that sewer 
infrastructure of money should be paid with some of the they are and so that's why it's important to know what you should know where our money is. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Right. So we'll schedule a meeting for a special meeting for Tuesday the tenth of ten. And the only thing left for today is approval of the December twenty minutes. Did you guys pass? The dollar amount for the was a rate. Do you want us to do that as a motion? I think okay, so I would enter all right. So I would entertain a motion as to the town budget, exclusive of the sewer budget. Um for the numbers as discussed during today's meetings. Which uh that you have in front of you, but Plus the changes. And what's that dollar amount? Well, why can't we just move it next next uh, Tuesday when we have yeah the final budget? Okay. Yeah. So approval both. Okay. So we have a general understanding as to the town budget. I'll make a motion for it on Tuesday. Okay. Right. Right. Can't make any change. Yeah. So then I would entertain. Make a motion. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Second. Okay. Motion by Ray, second by Mary. All in favor of approving December 20 minutes. Say aye. 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 I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries.